So uh, we were eating breakfast in this little cafe here and there was some live music and we seen this little opening. So we decided to walk through and it's like a little art collective gallery and I uh, spoke with the woman. So let's go check it out. Today I'm here in La Masia this little town I ran across and I ran across this beautiful lady and your name is Silvia Sierra Silvia how you doing Silvia I'm doing very well thank you and um, I came in here a minute ago before while I was waiting on my breakfast and I kind of took a look around and asked if, if I could interview you because I like your vibe you have a very good spirit and you give me a happy feeling well good I'm so <laughs> glad it's reciprocal and um, you are an artist correct correct okay and um, where are you from you born here I was born actually in uh, in Chihuahua in Chihuahua Mexico in Chihuahua Mexico hey not too far from here and when did you come here <laughs> uh, we're actually a border family my grandparents were born here so we there's six of us, three of us were actually born on that side and three were born here. So we've been here for many, many years. Right, right. And you live in this little town here? I live in Mesilla Park, pretty close to okay. this little town. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. It, it reminds me of, it's just like Mexico here, you know, the architecture, everything. And I, I just ate breakfast over there. This girl was playing live music. It was yeah. beautiful. So, um, <clears throat> and you've been in this gallery selling your art as a collective for how long? I've been in this gallery, the Agave Artist Cooperative, for about three, three years or so. But it's been here for more than that. Okay. okay. And there's uh, 16 of us, and we all exchange ideas, and we work together, and we volunteer our time to man the, the gallery um six hours a month and you would say um <clears throat> it's mostly it's cars passing is it mostly like uh you know you get your your sales and business from the tourists coming visit here or locals or what we, it's a mix so i just sold uh one of my landscapes to a local uh, and so it's mostly tourists but a lot of local artists follow our um, cooperative in Instagram and Facebook and we support each other so they come to our events and okay well bye. let's take a walk through and we'll check out what you have in here and show everyone okay well, welcome and I told you earlier I love your uh, your shirt you have on oh thank you and it's from where from Guatemala this one is from Guatemala Guatemala and look at this little courtyard and, and uh <clears throat> I'm going to take a look at that. Healing wings, you said? Yes. Each wing represents uh, a soul that we lost due to COVID. Hold up. Come over here so you can tell us. So this is the healing wings tree. And tell us what these uh, things are. The tree represents our community. We're pieces, but we're strong. And each of the, the wings represents a life that we lost due to COVID. And, and some of the wings have a name, and some of the wings have a symbolism with a color. Like this one. <clears throat> We're gonna get wet here with the sprinklers. This one, for example, this lady lost four people. Oh. And I said, you can do four wings. And she said, no, I just put four colors. Okay. Because it's one heart. And who made these ornaments? We all make them, uh, Vicky, one of the artists, and Kathy Baker, those, Kathy was the leader of this project. We make them and then we bring them and then the, the community actually comes and paints. So all of these, uh, these ornaments represent people of the community that they lost during COVID. And you can see right here, <clears throat> the wings are a memory of souls lost to COVID. Please don't take them. 
It's amazing. And this, this tree is made out of like these rebar, iron bars. It's beautiful. That'll be there forever. And then over here we have the uh, message box. So a lot of people were not able to say goodbye to the loved ones. Okay. So they have an opportunity here to come and leave a message. Uh, some of them are locked and some of them are opened. Okay, so this is a message box and they weren't be able to, they, they didn't get a, a final goodbye. goodbye to their loved ones. So they come here and write a message and put it in. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, so this is our community project. And uh, right over here is where I ate breakfast. And uh, if you see the young lady that was playing the live music, it was beautiful. I was just in heaven. And we're gonna walk through, and I seen this and I walked through the back. <clears throat> and here is the collective of all the artists, a lot of different types of work and styles. And I like these right here. So that's Vicky Morrow. So she does a lot of uh, found pieces. Found object art. Found objects. And then she's very innovative. Like this one is heart treasure keeper. And then you can see the box in the back. Yeah, you can hide something, huh? You can hide something. What you gonna hide in there? <laughs> <laughs> and so that's a beautiful. And this is uh, Leslie, is very creative with her artwork. This is like a... Oh, this I love. So I don't know if you notice, it's a passport required for, oh. for a gray wolf to cross the border. Oh. So some of them, she did amazing uh, social justice and environmental. She's very thoughtful on what she does. Yeah, I love that. And Roy does a lot of work as well. There's more Vicky, Potter, Barbara. Barbara some pottery. Williams does her own uh, glazes. Oh. And so the color that she gets is very rare, very unique. does a lot of work with silk. Wow, that's beautiful. She and dyed this? She dyes and she designs. And that scarves? Mm -hmm. Wow. And she Look also this. paints them. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Wendy uses a material in her palette. Okay. So <clears throat> this is beautiful. If you look at it, it looks like glass, but it's all material. The, the vibrancy of these scarves are just beautiful. And she also has paintings that she does on silk. Yeah. What are these beads hanging right here above our heads? To remind you to lower your... So, oh. <laughs> so you don't get hit. <laughs> and Kathy Baker, uh, it's a very... Um, Wonderful artist. Is, aside from starting the tree that you saw outside, she does pottery, she does baskets, um, and she dyes her own materials. Now, Linda Gendo is new, and she does work on metal. Oh, this is metal? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see the, the rusty texture. Cactus on the map. I love cactus. And this is a uh, jeweler, Margaret, and she does her artwork based on petroglyphs. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. Amazing. Amazing. And she's a wonderful artist. <clears throat> and Paul Maxwell, he's actually going to be coming this afternoon, but he is wonderful artwork uh this is more of the white sands if you have a memory. yeah i've seen the white sands yeah, on the beautiful. i was looking up some spots to go check out and this is the same lady that did the the scarves and the 
I like this. It's like a watercolor almost, huh? On silk. On silk, wow. And then okay. like a collage on yeah. silk. Yeah, we have uh, Nancy Beans. Uh, Nancy's also, all the artists are wonderful. So she does woodcuts and uh, pastels, watercolors. And Emmett is an amazing photographer. Um, the materials he uses um, gives you a sense of a three a three dimensional at least that's what I think. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's there at it. And here is your artwork, correct? And this is my artwork. <clears throat> yeah. So I work on uh, pastels, oils, and uh, now I'm using mixed medium. I love the old truck. The old truck. <clears throat> uh, this mix media I'm using. Um, I love this piece. Glass uh, incorporated to give it a more three dimensional. Yeah, some texture in there. And tell me, what what is this? This is like a. Uh, we call it La Diosa del Maíz, Corn wow. Goddess. Oh, the Corn Goddess. Tell me how you say that in Spanish. Diosa del Maíz. Diosa. Del maíz. Del maíz. And, uh, I was telling you earlier, I lived in, uh, I was in Guadalajara and Michoacan for a couple of months when I was younger, you know. <clears throat> and uh, those are the greatest, some of the greatest memories of my life. The yeah. culture there. The, the, people. the people and the food yeah so so when i met you earlier you just give me that feeling again oh, the good. happiness you know good i'm <laughs> glad that and uh that's... and and just being in this town you know is it gives me a beautiful feeling you know yeah. it's very calm and peaceful Hopefully you feel embraced yes 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 yeah, it's not like the big cities i'm driving through you know yeah. it's you know nothing but i come in here and it's it's just amazing well, we're glad that you stopped by and visit. Yes. Uh, in our artwork, hopefully inspires you to continue doing your artwork. Definitely. And like I was telling you, my work is very, very uh, inspired by my history, you know, in Mexico and yeah. the culture. You can see it in my artwork. It's kind of like Mexico and New Orleans mixed, oh, you know? That's cool. Wonderful. So, um, but... I appreciate you, Sylvia, for oh, thank you for coming by, showing me around today and your hospitality, and showing us everything in here. And I love this, the corn goddess. The corn goddess. And uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get you all uh, Instagram and whatnot, and I'll uh, tag it, and then I'll have the video on YouTube, and you can share it wow. and send to well, your people to you. watch. So thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, Sylvia, for your time and. We're blessed with your visit. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.